Hello, hello, Perfidious Pete here, back for more sarcasm and suffering as the aliens grind another fistful of salt into my wounds in XCOM The Long War. And when I talk about salting the wounds, I of course am talking about the number of troopers we've had getting injured lately on missions. For instance, last mission it was St. Thomas All Seasons More here, who got his shit fucking ruined. And this is becoming an alarmingly frequent circumstance, as is the memorial wall getting a new name inscribed upon it. Most recently, Margaret Iron Lady Thatcher, a maximum rank gunner. And I gotta kind of blame the Mary Sue bullshit of Build 15 for this situation. And there's a specific development, and I'm gonna take a moment to talk about this, so get ready for a rant here, and it's gonna be pretty goddamn salty. The reason that this is a problem these super powerful aliens make it so that taking lower rank troopers on a mission is always ridiculously dangerous. Because if you run into like a Mechtoid Leviathan or a Sectopod Destroyer or a Cyberdisk Destroyer or whatever other bullshit name they gave them, you can easily get yourself in a situation where a newbie just can't cut the mustard. Now, and I'm not even talking a newbie. This is maybe like a sergeant or a gunny sergeant may not be good enough. And they'll be not good enough when somebody gets killed. Which then, of course, results in a situation where you have a hole in your roster, so you got another lower-ranked trooper that you've got to try to level up to replace the person that you lost, which means you're probably going to run into a situation where maybe you lose somebody again. If you have a sergeant infantry instead of a master sergeant infantry, and two mechtoid leviathans come running out of a small UFO, which is easily feasible in build 15, Small UFOs, yeah, not where you want to take rookies to get EXP anymore, because you're really playing Russian roulette with five bullets in a gun. There's no rhyme or reason to the ridiculously overpowered aliens when they appear. It's completely unpredictable. There's no pattern to it. So it's not like you can go, oh, this mission is safe to take a rookie on or a lower level person. It's a crapshoot every fucking time. And it results in a negative spiral where eventually it's just a snowball of shit rolling down a hill of some hypothetical shit-covered slope because that's a thing that exists frequently. Anyway, I, I, I'm digressing here. It's, it's a problem. It's a problem because you can't replace losses when every mission is so dangerous that you have to have your ace team every single time. It's making me salty. And again, it's making it so that the only way to play the game is Overwatch creeping. It's hiding behind a camouflage scout spotting with a team of all snipers. And sure, you can win that way, but you know what? It really, it really is kind of win and ugly. It really is. And it really feels like not the way the game was meant to be played. I mean, it might be the way that the mod makers said, oh, this is the way you have to play the long war. But if it is, that's a bad design decision because it's not fun. All right, come in and you know what? I'm going to put you up on balanced here. You have six kills. And if you get in a situation where I need you to maybe destroy this, I might consider using a dodge module. I'd prefer to not. If you could maybe just shoot it down. Also, don't blow it up. We need the salvage here, Kaminen. Don't destroy it. Well, you're not going to have to worry about you destroying it, because the only thing we really should be worried about getting destroyed is you. That's your fucking shit wreck. A cyber disc, a drone, a seeker, a floater, an outsider. Okay, this is a good example of a mission that uh, you would say, okay, now this seems like something that might be safe to bring a rookie on. This could be respectable. What if this drone has 35 health, or what if this cyber disc is a cyber disc destroyer with damage control? If this is a cyber disc destroyer with damage control, and we bring lower level troopers on this mission, we will not have enough damage to kill that, and it will kill someone if it even gets a chance to shoot. This is the problem you run the risk with with lower level troopers, and it's why it's it's just there's, there's, mm. the Mary Sue shit is not the solution to the problem of making the game more challenging in build 15. It really is the wrong solution. I mean, it's a solution. It's just the wrong solution. It's like saying, what's four plus four? Oh, you know, it's 18. Yeah, well, you can say that, but that doesn't mean you're right. Anyway, let's put together a team here. I'm going to have to take I have to take a major. I have to take a master sergeant sniper on this mission. Even though this is a complete and total waste, I still have to do it. One, because I need somebody to lead the mission. Two, because if that cyber disc is a cyber disc destroyer and does have damage control, I'm going to have to have somebody who can disable its weapons. And even then, I, even after the weapon has been disabled, 
I still have to pray that it can't kill anyone with a grenade. And that, that that's really the only thing I can do. Other than just be out of line of sight from it, again, squad sight snipering with a guy who the AI literally will never target and killing it with guys that literally can't shoot back. That's 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 really not that's really not very fun. Build 15. That's that's, that's, that's not enjoyable. That's not that's not a gunfight. That's that's gaming and and shitty. Goss long rifle scope alloy bipod. Helen Keller, the old dead eye, is ready to go make somebody else's eyes just as dead as hers. Hopefully, in aliens. Gunner, we don't necessarily need a top of the line gunner, but we do still need a decent gunner. Do we have a decent gunner? We kind of don't. We have top of the line gunners and that's largely it. Oh, you know what? Let's take Marie to Baker Antoinette. We do have, okay, we have one gunner who's okay. We can take the Baker here and this is good. We can have a chance at working on the old double-double for the Baker. She's got to probably make maximum rank on this one. Aegis Armor, Goss Machine Gun. As long as she doesn't die, she's going to make max rank actually. She can't not. So let's give her a Neuro Regulator and try and work the Psychic rank. Neuro Gun Link, of course, for the aim. Armor Piercing Ammo, because I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Armor Piercing. Assault Troopers. Yeah. We have three Shadow Devices now. This I must remember. I need two people who can employ those Shadow Devices. The other problem I'm running into is we have a Log Jam in the tube as well. Uh, Marie Radium Curie. Yeah, you're going on this mission. Chance for a double double. And th look, uh, look at the look at the team I've lined up for this small UFO mission. I'd like to point out, this is a small UFO. If there was ever a mission on which we were meant to take troopers who are not amazing, I mean, this is it. This is our chance to get some newbies, some EXP. And who are we taking? Majors, master sergeants, gunnery sergeants, guys who are like literally one tiny iota of a tick from maximum rank. Because this is the only thing I can do to ensure that everybody comes back safe. If we take like a corporal on this mission, that corporal could get somebody killed. I'm probably still going to do it because I, I don't have a choice, but it's... This is the ball of shit rolling down the hypothetical shit covered slope. It really is. For instance, let's look at assault troopers we have who are not maximum rank. Garbage. Garbage. Less garbage, but still dangerous and probably an acceptable level of danger as long as we only do one and that one rookie emission is not necessarily going to be enough to fucking fill these holes in our roster forever shredder ammo i'm not even going to think about a capture here there wasn't really anything on that mission roster i'm interested in capturing at least not with winston churchill it's too big of a risk for churchill he's already underpowered enough we don't need to try and add to the difficulty if we're just going to do the double back gainer with a twist, let's not go for the triple double somersault off the other board. Rodney Dangerfield in back to school style. Let's not try the triple Lindy. Let's just go for something a little more achievable. I think the name of his backflip or whatever that fancy movie did at the end that won them the swim meet diving competition, whatever ridiculous situation it was that Rodney was in. It was called a triple Lindy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what what do we even have? I'm now I'm distracted by Rodney Dangerfield. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so salt filled. I I just don't want to go on the mission. I really don't. So a sniper, a gunner, an engineer, one assault trooper. Do I want to take twin assault troopers? Our assault troopers are either all maximum rank or too terrible to take on this mission, with the exception of Winston Accord Churchill. Any firecrack now we can't okay if I'm gonna take another assault trooper it has to be somebody decent that they're all every single one of them is a master sergeant already you know what now I'm just gonna take the one assault I'm just gonna do the one that's fine I'm, I'm taking one I'm gonna do one and I'll do two commanders choice two commanders choice choices this time the choice is yours or specifically mine I do need a medic Yes, Mary Mallon. Yes, Ernest Shackleton. All of these people are available and medics. We need another medic who is psychically active. We don't have enough. This is dumb and I'm going to do it. I'm taking the Angel of Death. I say this is dumb for two reasons. One, 
Clara Barton is the unluckiest fucking person in the XCOM project. I think every single mission she has been on, someone has either gotten critically wounded or killed. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, I think every single time she has been out of the barn that has happened. She also has four kills or two kills on four missions. So she sucks. Not only does she suck, though, I'm pretty sure she is legitimately the angel of death. She's killed more troopers than cancer, mostly because none of our troopers have lived long enough to die of cancer, but still, she has killed more troopers than cancer. You know what? You have smoke grenade. Okay, you do have smoke grenade. Just wanted to make sure, if she didn't have a smoke grenade, I was actually going to actively give her a smoke grenade. We've got to have a scout as well. Thomas Avarice Edison is a no. Despite the fact that Edison did rally up and put in a pretty fine performance the last time we had him out of the barn. Sherman is a maybe. Harry Megaton Truman, also a maybe. You know what? I'll I'll go with William Tecumseh Sherman. <sighs> I don't I don't really like it because Sherman is not psychically powerful. But I think we can probably make do with Sherman. As long as this cyber disc that's on the mission isn't a cyber disc destroyer, I mean we should be okay. Uh battle scanner, chameleon suit, what do we want to accept that? You know what? Cognitive enhancer would be good here. Let's go for the extra EXP. Get Tecumseh bumped up that much faster. I'm comfortable with that. So, Sniper, Gunner, Engineer, Assault, Medic, Scout. We got two Fielder's Choice choices. I would like one of them to be an Infantry. Steve Lasso Jobs is already max rank. Samuel Clemens also max rank. Lady Die Francis we could do? Yeah, let's grab old Lady Die, because she'll probably level out of this. And this is exactly the kind of substandard team I'm talking about. If, if we run into a Cyber Disk Destroyer... I'm going to feel like fucking Kreskin. I really am. I mean, I'm going to feel like Kreskin and Vindicated for about 90 seconds, and then everyone is going to be dead, and then I'm just going to be fucking sad. What do we want to give you? Uh, Illuminator gun sight, yes. Um, high capacity mag. You know what? Just laser sight and high capacity mags. Let's make you as likely as possible to be capable of hitting your target. Illuminator gun sight, laser sight, and extra bullets. That's got Lady Die sorted. So we get a sniper, a gunner, an engineer, assault, a medic, a single scout, an infantry, and another fielder's choice choice. Um, I don't know, maybe Jules Verne? Isaac Newton? Oh, you know, we don't have a single shadow device, do we? Wait, I, I, maybe I have one. Kiri, you have a shadow device, right? Better. Okay, you do. Whoever this last trooper is, they have to be, uh, they have to be psychically enabled. I am going to need another shadow device. That's not negotiable. John Wayne? No. You know what? Let's take Tariq. I'll go double engineer. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's grab old Tisiphone. Um, Aegis armor, alien grenades. You know, we know there's a cyber disc on the mission, so theoretically we wouldn't be in a bad spot to take a chemical grenade. It would not be the worst idea of all time. And you know what's way better than a chemical grenade? Yeah, it's still a shadow device, so that's what we're going to do. We don't need to live you with an assault rifle, though. Let's get you a plasma carbine. There's the team. Let's go get this shit over with. If it's a cyber disk destroyer. Uh, you know, one regular destroyer we could probably handle Touching as long down. as it didn't also have damage control. That ability, damage control, is really broken good. Because it means the first shot you take at a unit basically has to kill it, next deployment site or is UK. you won't be able to We've kill it. In the coordinates of the alien crash site. So it means the, the first shot you do on any turn has to be rapid fire from a heat ammo gunner. Otherwise, you're not possible. going to be able to kill it. Because every subsequent shot will do half damage, and you can just pepper it with every single person on a team. It's not going to be enough. Didn't even look at the mission name, because frankly, I don't give a shit. We're in a small UFO, we're not on the riparian map, and we're not on the farm map, so this means we must be in the plains, because that's the other map. Yeah, we're just north of the crash site. We're just north of the crash site in a shitty box canyon, just waiting to die. Shut up, Bradford. I'm real extra salty this mission. I, I, you know, I think I have, like, a, a salt hangover from when uh, Margaret Thatcher got killed. I'm still surprisingly salty about this. This is the edge of the map. It's, it's sort of finally sinking in that a trooper who has been with us basically since the beginning of the project got killed, and I gotta say I feel killed somewhat unfairly. Keller, you have Seraphim armor, right? Well, let's get you airborne. Ignition. 
Up, up, and away, Helen Keller. It's uh, time for you to go do that magic that you do so well. Which is murder people with a sniper rifle. I'm, I'm not being facetious. You really do do it well. Remarkably well, in fact. Scary kind of well, in fact. Uh, Angel of Death. I mean, this should be relatively safe-ish. Okay, good. You're on Overwatch. And we're not going to try anything fancy. Everybody else is just going to come up and huddle behind this rock. Everybody's going to be on Overwatch. Um, Sherman... I kind of need you to the fore in case we need somebody to run some Overwatch. Contact. You gotta be shitty. Well, this is, I guess, pretty much exactly what I was talking about. Also, for whatever reason, that cyber disc is suddenly fucking invisible. Explain that to me. How could I see it literally seconds ago and now suddenly I can no longer see it? That makes perfect sense. So we're gonna be using a shadow device here. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely gonna happen. Aye, aye. Let's bring Sherman forward. He can probably take a long distance. And you know what? You're not even worth fucking shooting, Sherman. Francis, how about you? You actually have some pretty good shots. Let's have you go here with a 78% for the kill. We can't have nice things. To Tiffany, you've got... My shadow device. Okay, well, all right then. Marie the Baker Antoinette is going to come forward, and she can't really do anything. I'm going to set some of the world on fire because I hate everything. So, yeah, let's do that. We're going to have Marie the Baker Antoinette pointlessly set something on fire. I, uh, I, I like some men, Master Wayne, at this point. I just want to watch the world burn, Master Wayne. I've, uh, I've had my ass full of it, and, uh, some men, Master Wayne, just, they just want to watch the world burn, and I'm, I'm one of them now, sir. I'm one of them. So here comes the shadow device. On the drawback side, we do have Johnny. I'm fucked a lot over there, all by his little lonesome self. And I'm guessing he's probably going to get fucked a lot. On the plus side, Titan armor. He is wearing it. It's literally the only thing that might save him, and we're just going to end our turn. Drones are going to fall back and probably repair each other. I have no idea what that drone was trying. It, it literally drove in a circle. This one's coming forward. If that Cyberdisc has squad sight, Helen Deadeye Keller could die here. It has... Ugh, we're fucked. How could it move that far on a single move? It's ridiculously far. Well, here comes the grenade. Odds are this will not kill us. Seven damage. Not even that significant of a, a, a dangerous hit. Does this thing have damage control, then, is now the only question. If it has damage control, we are probably not going to be able to kill it. If it does not have damage control, we have an outside chance. Helen Keller will come back to you in a moment. I don't give a shit about that drone. 47% to hit this thing has every ability ever, then. Rapid reaction, aggression, evasion, bombard, heat ammo, death blossom, damage control, because of course it does. Well, this is... People are going to think I'm doing post-commentary or something on this. I assure you, this is all happening live. Because I wouldn't do this to myself if I was doing post-commentary. We're fucked. It did throw its grenade. That's the only thing we've got going for us. So we're going to disable its weapon. This is all we can do. Now, every subsequent shot we throw at this thing is going to do half damage. So, for instance... Actually, it's stupid to even shoot at it. I'm not even going to bother shooting at it. That, that's how little it's going to matter now that we've done damage to it. It's, it's pointless to bother shooting at it. It really is. So we're going to have to Shadow Device again. Shadow Devices are the only thing that keep us alive. They, they really are. And the reason we're going to have to Shadow Device is because we will literally not be able to do enough damage to kill this thing. We, we just, we will not. This will this will hit for like six. If it hits at all, which it's not going to because that thing is really hard. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this this will... Well, you know what, Lady Francis? Why don't you go ahead and shoot her? That way, at least we don't have to worry about Helen Deadeye Keller getting killed by a drone. Five damage. Five armor. That's respectable. Who has my shadow device? Madam Curie does. Alright, Madam Curie. It's, uh, I mean, we can't really move much. Sherman, I suppose, could at least hollow target this thing for us. Zero damage! Brilliant. 
Yep, there's damage control at work for you, folks. Right there, damage control. I'm on the move. Tip your waiter, they'll be here all week. Hit by a shotgun blast for nothing. Uh, Zero damage. damage, none. Not a zip zilch to big goose egg. I'm getting real salty. I feel salty. Oh, so salty. I'm gritty and shitty and awful. Five damage and a shred. Eh, whatever. Um, you know what, Claire Barton? You're gonna heal. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. You better be back in a fight right now. And then we'll shatter device because do we need to shatter device actually? This thing threw its grenade already. You know what? We don't need to shatter device, and I'm not going to. It threw its grenade and its weapon is disabled. It's done. It can sit there like a lump. Hopefully it'll sit alone in a boggy marsh, totally motionless except for its heart. It's gonna EMP and kill everyone. Cover the flanks. They've got me flanked. We're not. Okay, here's the problem. We have to run like hell, because this thing has death blossom and it's gonna explode when it dies. So we can't be anywhere near it when that actually happens. So everybody has to move. We need to find somebody who has a can't miss shot then. I'm assuming Ellen Deadeye Keller. 2% chance she misses, and if that 2% comes up, we're completely boned. Out. Let's keep Churchill as sort of a backup plan. I don't think Sherman can hurt it, but he could hollow target it. So again, I think he's going to be an I integral part it. of backup plan. Plan B, as I like to call it. It's really actually more of a plan Did like Q. You. Lady Die, we're going to bring you over here again, part of our backup plan. It is going to explode when it dies, but it doesn't explode that big. I mean, it's not a catastrophic, cataclysm, end of the world variety shot. I'd rather not have Helen Keller shoot it, if at all possible. Why can Clara Barton not move? Thank you. I would like Clara Barton to get the hell out of there. The Angel of Death is proven to be every bit as fucking cursed as I suspected she might be. Let's have Sherman shoot first. Might as well hollow target it. And I, I don't want to have to shoot it with Helen Keller if I don't have to. Again, zero damage. Fantastic. Alright, Lady Die. Four damage. Also, I would like to point out, by the way, this thing is shredded. This unit, this is this is how stupidly broken damage control is. This guy has been shredded already. Two, two, two. Kiri? And now it's gonna explode in a titanic ball of death. Yep, there you go. Also, gotta say, Let don't do really it. relish the enemies that have the I explode when I dies proclivity for just charging into the middle of your dudes. Good to go. The suicide bomber strategy, it's as it's time. called, not really, uh, doesn't really seem appropriate for the aliens entirely, but then again, maybe it does. I don't know what motivates them and such. I mean, except for the fact that I've beaten the game before, so I definitely know what motivates the aliens and what their ultimate goal is. And it seems like just randomly running into yourself with bombs strapped to you Probably not conducive to that overall goal. Well, on the plus side, we do have the broken-ass Cyberdisc, which I was living in complete and absolute abject terror of, taken care of. And we know that there are no enemies up here, so we can advance pell-mell towards the completion of our goal. Hooray! Oh, yeah. Don't get so excited, Gary. I mean, really, this is not an oh yeah kind of situation. The Kool-Aid man did not just burst through the wall here. Nothing good is happening right now. You want to steady your weapon, Helen? Thank you. Fatima, we're just going to bring you forward. I'm sure you'll pop a pod and completely find a way to fuck us. Even though the motion tracker said the area was entirely clear, there'll be some kind of bizarre line of sight bug where you'll still find a way to somehow, magically, activate a pod that didn't exist mere seconds ago. It's just, uh, this episode is all me being salty. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't have anything else good to say about build 15 today. I'm, I'm really not feeling it. The whole Margaret Thatcher thing really kind of has me bummed. Uh, very much, very much a big letdown. I'm, uh, I'm a little heartbroken. A little bit heartbroken. All right, so more motion tracker than... There are floaters somewhere. I'm going to assume there are outsiders probably on the ship. If we could find these apocryphal floaters, that would be lovely. 
Oh, there they are. Ah, uh, fantastic. Well, at least they're not heavy floaters. There are a large number of them, however, and we popped them with a unit that's already wounded, so that's fantastic. You have literally one shot, Marie Baker. You do. All right. A kill here? Yes. Not with the first shot, but Marie Antoinette Baker using those tracer rounds to find her mark and deliver some death. Helen Keller, I just want you killing everything that's close to us. Or injuring something that's not really that close to us. That guy has a lot of health. This should kill him, though. Nine damage, that guy has eight health. Ah, uh, thanks for letting me down. Uh, that's fine. It's, everything is disappointing at this rate. It's, it's, uh, you know, honestly, at this point, it's really sort of expected. Overwatch for you. Claire Barton's going to go throw a smoke grenade that's probably going to be in the filed under the too little too late category of rescue attempts. But it is a rescue attempt nonetheless. There's no way he doesn't wind up flanked, by the way. One of those floaters is, none of those floaters is a heavy okay. floater. You know what? Fuck it. Smoke is not going to be enough. It's not going to get it done. I am going to ghost grenade one man. It's the only way this doesn't get him killed. I'm, yeah, salty about the fact that I had to use a ghost grenade now. to kill one guy. But we've already come through the most dangerous part of the mission. Or at least I hope we've already come through the most dangerous part of the mission. If there are more deadly enemies somewhere on this map, confirmed. I give up. I really do. We already fought the cyber disc that was broken and powerful. Damage control having piece of shit. Um, where did that come from? Well, Helen Keller's shot. Yeah, okay. Not even sure where that came from. Love that Seekers don't even try to strangle, by the way, in build 15. They almost never even try for the strangle. They're exclusively cloak and go try and flank critical someone. Why you would ever play Long War with absolutely critical on, I have no idea. It just, it seems tantamount to suicide. It really does. Alright, so some double moves from the floaters. Churchill, saved by his, you know, merit of being fucking invisible. It's the only way you can guarantee your safety in the long war. Are you invisible? I mean, it's it's basically a very simple flowchart. The flowchart consists of one question. The question is, are you invisible? The answer, you know, yes, no, kind of standard flowchart sort of thing. In the event that you're forced to pick no, the next follow-up question is then, can you become invisible? And then you've got your, again, yes-no decision. And again, if you say to the no, it just goes to a box that says, you're fucked. There's no subsequent or follow-up shit. It's just if, if you're not invisible and can't get invisible, you're dead. That, that's, the whole, that's the whole game. Well, Marie the Baker Antoinette has only one shot, which is fine because it's, it's a very necessary shot. We needed that one. Uh, Lady Die is gonna get absolutely nothing here. So Maybe some desperation overwatch at whatever sides it may want to try to flank Winston Churchill. This will not kill him. Oh, never mind. Critical? Surprise critical? Surprise critical and kill. Alright, so Helen Keller looking for a little payback and getting it, by the way. If we run and gun here, we're almost guaranteed to pop another pod, right? I mean, let's face it. It's going to happen. Roger that. Let's double check and make yours. sure. Just before we do anything we regret, let's throw the battle scanner out here and just make sure that if I run over there, stand in this tile and try and flank Box shot open. and kill that guy, that it absolutely spawns these outsiders and we, yeah, we get flanked and die. Okay. So the battle scanner confirms my suspicion, which is fine. We'll have Churchill instead run to here where he has some sort of cover can see two enemies, huh? Well, there's a man on top of the roof there. All right. Well, Clara Barton gonna do what Clara Barton do, which is try and keep people alive and fail. She really is the angel of death. If you ever have a, a doctor or a medic on your team whose nickname is Angel, you should just fucking sign your will and kiss your ass goodbye. Make sure your affairs are in order before you go on the mission, because you're not gonna come back alive. You're gonna die spitting blood, you know, your last desperate words. Tell my wife I love her. But that's the way it's gonna end, tragically. Floaters are falling back in an attempt to clever girl us. We're not gonna be clever girl. Oh no, we lost the melt canister. I totally don't give a single fuck. 
We have squad sight shots on those outsiders. I'm not in any kind of interest or hurry to take them, so. If the aliens want to run away, I'm We're comfortable with that. Go. Helen Deadeye Keller is going to reload and study her weapon. That, If we want to pop those outsiders, you know what? That uh, battle scanner, yeah, it'll be there next turn. Moving. We can take advantage of it then if we want to. So Fatima steps us over, reloads. Churchill's going to do exactly the same thing. Except he's going to overwatch us at a reload. Um, the I'm rolling. Angel of Death is going to advance slightly and hide behind a rock. Madam Curie needs to get a little closer to the action. We're going to bring her over behind this tree so she can wheel and deal some grenades if the need arises. And Sherman's going to go take cover behind that rock and see if maybe he can't chase around and get vision on those floaters to give Helen Keller a shot. Probably we'll go for the outsiders, I'm guessing. Helen Keller should be on a double tap at the moment. And she can't... Suddenly she can't see them. Why not? That battle scanner is still there, right? No, it is not there. Well, well fine, we'll just put it back. No, that's fine, XCOM. If that's how you want to be, take away my battle scanner. Uh, oh, I've got more. You can. T I'm taking my ball and going home. You know what? Not this time. Not this time. Try and take your ball and go home. William Tecumseh Sherman will throw a revealing battle scanner at you. I would like to get Marie the Baker Antoinette in a position where she also could fire. She can't do that from here. Um, you know what? I think we'll take another turn. Let's have her reload. Yeah, you know what? Let's just build a whole firing line. Fuck it. Let's do this. If these guys will come forward after we pop them, this is Moving. strategically not a terrible idea. Overwatch. Overwatch. Madam Curie, Overwatch. 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 Ellen Keller, go ahead and study that weapon. Next turn, you're going to be firing like mad. The floaters will come try and fuck up our program. That's a gimme. You are not active, you don't get a move. Alright, if that guy had moved, I was going to be unspeakably salty. What are you doing, floater? I'm just freaking out. Outsiders are going to do nothing? Okay, then. Marie the Baker Antoinette actually has a shot at this exposed floater. This is, double 70s is a good start. This means we get a chance to hit him twice before he flees to cover. He is going to flee to cover. This shot still counts at him as if he's shooting in the open. Which is why it hit the tile that he was formerly occupying for some nice critical damage. Now, let's see what Helen Deadeye Keller can do. Well, she can just straight up kill that man. So, there you go. Be dead. Be one health from dead. We'll come back to you in a moment then, Helen. Also, very disappointed in you, young lady. Winston Churchill. Uh, Tariq. I'd love to have her go forward and wheel and deal a grenade here, but she is one tile too slow to actually make that happen. Brilliant, by the way. We we sort of needed that grenade, too, if I'm going to be honest. All right, well, Sherman, I guess you're just going to hollow target then. If you had flush shot, I would have you try and flush shot that guy. 7%. That's poor. Yeah, no surprise there. Lady Francis, what can you do? 61 is pretty good. 66 is pretty good. All right, we'll kill this man. He's the most dangerous. Friend. So the Super Mary Sue is dead. Let's see if she can double up on this shit. Nope. Seems like I should have gotten a splash hit there on the uh, on the rear floater. I, I demand splash damage. That very clearly intersected his model. Well, and Dead Eye Keller's gonna drive this guy into the ground like a tent peg, or she would have if that shot had hit. Um, you have mayhem, right? To Siphony, you do not appear to have mayhem. You have Psy Panic. Will it work? Nope. Might just have you suppress then. Uh, Marie Curie has mayhem. You know what, Madam Curie? Go suppress this piece of trash to death. Marie Curie can do it. And here's a perfect example, by the way, of the whole this guy's just not quite good enough to get the job done. Of course, Marie Curie, I guess, wasn't quite good enough to get the job done either, so maybe my case is a little suspect. I'm going to run and gun for Overwatch here. Winston Churchill on the run and gun. He's going to advance. I'm going to come up here and just be on Overwatch. I'm expecting some of these floaters to try and come out and dick with me next turn, and if they do, I want to be prepared. Clara Barton, why don't you Overwatch everybody get killed because you're the angel of death and everyone around you gets destroyed. Beautiful shot from Winston by the court, Churchill. 
Takes his brandy by the court and takes his fucking foes by the balls. An unsurprising miss there. Probably what we'll have Marie Curie do is just, well, I was going to say try and suppress that guy to death, but that's actually not going to work. We should be able to kill both of these with Churchill. All right, Winston. Come on, man. Close this shit out. Give me the critical kill here and then follow it up with a nice critical kill on this stupid piece of garbage floater. This is a can't miss shot. Winston Churchill runs the table. Operation Banished Vanguard, uh, not dramatic success, but nobody fucking died, so there's that. I call that Cyber Disk Destroyer, man. I called it. I hate damage control so much. And without, without shadow devices there, by the way, we're dead. We're just dead. That first turn, at least one person is killed, probably two. Effort. Shut up. I'm glad our troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. Yeah, boy, we really need it to go with the thousand that's sitting unused in the warehouse. I'm supremely glad we have it as well. It's mayhem for a Marie Antoinette. Diana Lady Die Francis picking up a level. Nice. She is an Overwatch. Okay, so we want to give you. I really like Deadeye. Suppression without, I mean, Overwatch and Suppression abilities tend to go decently together, especially when you have Covering Fire. But if you're going to be an Overwatch guy, being able to hit what you aim at is really good, and Flyers are notoriously problematic in that department. Overwatching a Flyer is basically a recipe for missing. Suppression also takes a lot. You know what? I'm going to take that eye. We'll go for a little bit of an odd duck build there for Lady Die Francis, our first Overwatcher who actually doesn't have suppression. We rarely suppress with our infantry anyway. 22 Illyrium, which is decent. 36 alloys, 13 weapon fragments. Some meld, couple UFO flight computers and other damage components, which is fine. What else is fine is I'm done playing XCOM for the day, and that's damn fine, especially in build 15. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. And if you'd like to catch more salt in the wounds, you might consider subscribing as well. We post new episodes every single day. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Salt and all.